Hyvel is another electrotherapy that we can do. And Hyvel is best used for wound healing. There's some conflicting evidence about uh, edema reduction, and so far it hasn't really been shown. So for this primarily, in this class, we'll really mostly use it for wound therapy and wound care. So again, we're gonna go into customize. And as we look at this, we're gonna again change it to the two inch squares, even though they're gonna be rectangles again. When we look at these different things, if it's a brand new injury, one of the things that you're really gonna wanna focus on first is using negative polarity because this really helps with breaking up clots and helping with the inflammatory process kind of kicking in. Um, for us, what we're going to do, so you can do it one of two ways. You can either have the sweep off and just work with a regular frequency. And the frequency for these, again, is between, and it's a huge range, it's from one to 120, which is kind of crazy. And so for this, you can just have it off and then you can change this as you want and we can just leave it at 100 or you can change it to on and you can actually do sweeping where we just need to make sure that the low frequency and the high frequency is between one and 120, which right now it is. So you guys can choose to do it either way. There's not a right or a wrong way. Um, I think that it more depends upon what you're trying to do and help the person with. I would say that if you're trying to work on edema, it's better to do a, a range, so a sweep. And if you're doing maybe more of the, the um, wound care, I think it's okay to just keep it constant. Then the next thing we're gonna do is change it to peak current. And that's what we're going to do as we're trying to look at this. So one thing that I wanna point out is in your textbook and in your PowerPoint, it says that the range is from zero to 500 milliamps, little m, big A. Notice that this is amperes. There's no m in front of it. So this goes from zero to five. So we're moving the decimal point. So this is going from zero to 500 milliamperes or zero to five amperes. You need to make sure that you understand that. The chances, that means if they're at a five, they're at the maximum electrical uh, current that's going through. You should not anticipate your patients getting all the way to 500. That's just, it's probably not a great idea. Um, and then for treatment time, 20 minutes is okay. Uh, sometime, I, I would say 15 to 20 minutes is probably best. Depends upon what kind of um, injury you're trying to take care of. If you are working on edema, it might be a good idea to go for longer, closer to 30 minutes. But I think for wound time, 20 minutes is probably sufficient as we're looking at these. And then from here, you would just start turning this up. And, and then again, it's a single, so it's a biphasic or a single lead. So again, we're on lead one. Notice lead one is blue and it's blue in our hands. And then we hook it up to that individual. And um, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how you actually perform high volt for wound management. And so we're just gonna pretend these scars that Meredith has are actually an open wound, which by the way, I would not be putting my finger in them if they were. And you can have a bioclusive or something over the top of them, so that way it's not just open, because the point of this isn't to treat the outer surface. The point of it is to kind of help with the healing from the inside out as we're using this. So again, remember I said that it's best to start with negative. So notice our negative lead is here. It's not directly over the wound. And then it's gonna be pulled up through to the positive lead. So you need both. They need to be around the area as we're gonna do this. Um, the other thing to think about is if you're going to be doing it for edema, you need to be, again, you have to pay attention if you're using the positive or negative lead, whatever lead you're focusing on. So this one is negative. The negative lead, that electrode will want to be right over the most tender spot that actually has the greatest edema, and then it would pull it towards the opposite lead. So if it's set negative, negative is either the most distal or it's directly over the site with the greatest amount of swelling and, and irritation. So, pardon me, like if she had an ATF sprain um, and a CF sprain, we would put that big negative lead right here and then we would put the positive lead more proximal to that to help pull that stuff up as she's doing it. 
And then what I would do too is have her in a dependent position with her foot higher and then have her do like ankle pumps as she's doing it. So that way she's using her musculature to help with the lymphatic and venous flow as well as what's going on through the electrical stimulation, okay? So with your patient, you would tell them, are you comfortable? We put all this stuff here. What you should really be feeling is tingling at the most. Like there should not be anything crazy that's going on as we're doing this. If you guys are doing edema though, they should feel um, slight muscle contraction, not just tingling because we are trying to simulate the muscles and the lymphatic and venous flow from getting things out. So that um, as you turn up the peak current for the edema part, you would want it higher for the wound care, just tingling. So we would be here, we're on negative, everything is the same, we haven't changed any of the settings. Remember, five amperes equals 500 milliamperes, that's the highest we can get, do not reach five. Way too high. And so we're gonna start turning it up. And again, it's gonna be dependent upon how the patient feels that day and everything else. You can tingling. feel it, tingling, good tingle. Okay, so we stop there once they say that, and we hit go. And now she's running and we would just go through the entire treatment when we're done we clean these I would say if we're doing wound care and there's some issues here how I said before that you can assign people their own um, electrodes I would do that and again you just take like a marker and write their initials on there initials are good instead of full name because then people that come into the training room can identify people if you have their full name on it or you can assign your athletes or patients numbers or something like that so that way um, we don't have to worry about confidentiality issues. But anyway, they would just go through this and then um, we're not addressing pain or anything else, just wound care. And the idea is that the wound should heal faster when we do high volt than if we didn't do high volt. And this is really good for big open wounds. You can do it for lacerations and that kind of stuff, but if people have turf burn or stuff like that, these are really good because they take a long time to heal because there's so much open space. Um, yeah, and so anyway, we would start initially with negative because of all the things I just talked about before, and then eventually we might switch to positive because that helps more with clotting and finalizing the healing. But one thing that I do wanna point out is you don't wanna have the negative or the positive always in the same place. So you wanna start flipping them eventually and going back and forth because the body's gonna start reacting and it can actually start causing skin breakdown because it's always hitting negative and it's always hitting positive in the same place. So it's good to start alternating over time. So in the first couple days, maybe you're set up like this and then afterwards you start alternating, like say you do it in the morning, the negatives here and, and the positives here and then the afternoon you flip them around so that way they're not just getting bombarded by the same polarity every single time.